If you use Copilot or something similar, I won't hire you. <laughs> That's a tweet I made yesterday and it's causing the tech community by storm. I don't know what's going on. People are so emotional. Um, the question about it is, do I, is, do I mean this tweet or not? Is this a troll? Uh, what the hell is going on? And why I actually posted that? But before we continue with this video, guys, listen, I said it before. I promised my grandma to have 100k subscribers by the end of the year. And my grandma has not long to live anymore. So please don't let grandma down. Make her proud, right? Join the community, uh, the links, Discord community, the links are all in the description. So let me know, guys, what you think about this tweet, uh, what you think about this statement, of course. First, check out the video so you know the context about what I actually are trying to say with that. Uh, let, leave them in the comments. I'm uh, very curious to see what you guys think about that. All right, so let's continue. So basically, if you use Copilot or something similar, I won't hire you. Do I mean this tweet? Uh, of course not, right? Uh, I think in, in the engineering world, people, people are free to use whatever they want, right? Uh, that's what it is. Of course, do I like Copilot? Of course not. Uh, I think it's BS, uh, but that's, that's, everybody, that's everybody's own opinion. So why did I make this tweet, guys? And I'm going to explain why I think Copilot is BS. So the Primogen, Mr. Prime himself, made this tweet also yesterday, I guess. Uh, I am one week without Copilot. I'm really happy I don't use it anymore. It's honestly a relief, and it's hard to describe, describe why. Right. I saw this tweet and I said, man, actually, this is so true. Um, I'm happy that he basically experienced that because he's using uh, Copilot for a while now. And I just made this tweet without thinking and like uh, maybe some kind of a troll, a troll tweet. And everybody is basically uh, emotionally hurt. You know what I mean? People did not sleep yesterday, unfortunately. So the thing is that what worries me the most what I learned by all these comments here uh, is that a lot of people are so emotionally attached to their AI tools. And am I going to hire somebody that's basically ha have Copilot active? Of course, right? Why, why wouldn't I? Everybody does what he wants. Uh, but am I going to hire people that are so emotionally attached? You, you check the comments out. It's wild, man. People are basically, it's like an, a complete new uh, belief system uh, that is being invented. Uh, it's crazy. And it's going to basically cock block your career, right? Uh, so why do I think Copilot is actually um, not that great? First of all, I use AI tools all the time, right? I even made startups with AI. Uh, I built it in three weeks without Copilot, and it's making more money already than you basically earn in a month. But that's something else without Copilot because people say they are way faster than me, and people are, I don't know, people are crazy, man. These comments, it's, it's insane. I use ChatGPT every day, right? And how do I use it? Um, I think I use ChatGPT as a better, as a Google search on steroids, right? Uh, most of the time, I already know ChatGPT is going to basically give me bullshit or not the code that I want, but it's going to guide me in a certain direction. It's going to guide me some packages I need to import. It's going to guide me. It's going to help me uh, fill in the blank spaces in my brain whenever I want to, right? The problem with Copilot is that Copilot is basically vomiting codes in your editor all the fucking time. And is it going to help you with writing boilerplate? Yes, it's, it, it will. It will, right? It's going to write boilerplate and it's going to do that very well. The problem is productivity in engineering depends on, on your company because a lot, a lot of, uh, I call them PR monkeys, right? A lot of people are uh, in some kind of a big company and the only thing you need to do is these simple tasks, bam, 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 from nine to five, these, all these simple tasks and GoPilot can probably help you with that, of course. Uh, we need these people also, right? Uh, but the thing is that you can see that in my streams. If I code, if I, if I do live coding, I like to write this boilerplate code because the moment you write boilerplate code, you can basically do that on an automated pilot not co-pilot, but like an, on an automatic pilot, like a muscle memory. And me, in the time that I'm writing that code, in the time that I'm writing this boilerplate code, I'm already thinking a step ahead on the problem, right? And you can see that in my live stream, most of the time I'm writing that code and suddenly, oh guys, wait, I have a, I have a better idea. And I basically delete my code and write it again. So it writing this boilerplate code gives me, gives my brain the time to think about the problem, the time to think on what 
what what code is coming next what's coming next what's the next pattern what's the next what's the next step to do here to come to my solution and it sometimes it alters the code that i'm actually going to write sometimes it alters the boilerplate i need to write and if you have something like copilot it's going to boom instantly paste vomit uh, code on your um, on your on your on your screen but you don't have time to think about what's next and you're basically are so used to getting these things printed in i don't know it doesn't work for me it doesn't work for me and i would love to and i have these engineers in my team and if you don't know why i, I have this company Avenue. it's 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 a big company uh, in belgium actually in europe to be honest um eight million of funding written in Golang, Temple, all that stuff. Check it out. It's, it's wide open. We did three acquisitions already. So um, I'm trying to hire engineers that are kind of like-minded. Of course, not everybody has the same, but I want people that can think because productivity in engineering does not come from how fast can I write boilerplate code. Productivity comes from how fast can I creatively innovate new solutions for the problems I am, that, that I'm occurring, right? that are occurring, that I need to solve. Because we at Lavenue, we have so much, we are basically innovating the whole tech scene about the finance, the fintech, the, the recurring revenue uh, funding. Of course, there are a lot of companies right now, but we were basically, four, four years ago, we were one of the first. So we need to do a lot of innovating, thinking outside of the box with how we're going we're gonna to do these things. And boilerplate is not going to help us right copilot cannot innovate i already told this before in other videos like ai is good ai is great and i think everybody should use it i'm using it all the time but we cannot you, we cannot cock block our own create creative thinking our own innovative thinking by these tools and that's what's happening right that's what that's what starts to happen and these ais they 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 cannot innovate but maybe they can in, in 10 years. I don't fucking know what's going on. We need to, uh, whatever happens at the moment, we, we, we need to adjust, right? That's life. You need to adjust on new technologies every, every time and every day. But they, at this moment of time, they cannot innovate, right? They can only replicate. So productivity does not come from writing boilerplate. Productivity comes from how fast can an engineer come up with creative solutions, innovative, thinking outside of the box solutions for the problem, right? And most of the time, it's not going to be a complete product. At Levenu, we, we, we do a lot of trial and error, right? We come up with some quick and dirty uh, proof of concept uh, that's nobody that's never been done before. And we're going to test that. Is it working? Is it not working? How does it feel? How does it go? What do we think about that? Uh, that's, that's what I'm trying to say with this uh, co-pilot tweet, right? I'm not a big fan. I think coding is like painting, like Bob Ross, the joy of painting. It's going to be the joy of programming. I think um, having somebody paint stuff into your canvas is going to block your creativity. It's going to uh, basically impact the result. Right? Maybe, maybe your trees, maybe your forest, maybe your landscape is going to be painted way faster but maybe it's not exactly the landscape you had in mind. You know what I mean? Maybe it's going to block your further creative shapes you want to put into it. You know what I mean? It's really hard to explain. It's also probably really hard to understand for new people coming into coding, people that are just like two, three, four years in. Um, it's because you're already used to all this technology, but engineering is not writing code. Right, engineering is not NeoVim, engineering is not VS Code, engineering is not your fucking language, Python, Ruby, whatever. Engineering is solving a problem, man. Solving a problem, bringing value through technology uh, to an end user or, or, or something like that, right? And that's what people tend to forget and that's basically what I'm trying to teach, what I'm trying to preach um, in my videos and in, in my community and in my presence online. And sometimes it hurts some feelings, but guys, do not always take everything what I say for granted, right? I'm also a little bit of a troll, but sometimes you need to do that um, to get people's attention, right? From time to time. And you don't need to believe me. Um, like I said, you're free, you're free to use whatever you want. That's good for me. I will still hire you. <laughs> but um, that's basically what I mean by that, right? Um, don't be too emotionally attached to these AI tools. They will—they are here to help us. They are here to um, come 
compl- how do you say that, to complement us, um, but they will never be here to replace us because there's always needs to be some innovation. There always needs to be some creative innovation and that's what I, where I see AI lacking for a very, very long time. Um, so if you want to still be, how do you say that? If you still want to be, if you want to still have some meaning in your career, try to shift a little bit away. Uh, of course, you can use it, but try to shift a little bit away emotionally from these tools and try to focus a little bit more on creative engineering, right? In the, in the, in the bigger scope um, than only languages, editors, and tools, right? Uh, so that's what I is. For the people that I heard with this tweet, I'm not sorry uh, because, hey, sometimes you need to be heard to change. You know what I mean? That happens with me all the time. That's what I want to say, guys. I hope you had something about this video. This is coming from somebody with a lot of experience, with a lot of failures, but also a lot of successes, right? So whatever you do with this, that's up to you. And uh, whatever happens, still, we are still gonna be, uh, we're still gonna be friends. And like I said before, don't let grandma down. Subscribe to the channel so I can reach these 100K and my grandma will be proud before she pass away. Thanks for watching this video and I'm looking forward to see you in one of my next live streams or videos. Bye-bye.